Hi, this is Abigail Zoe Lewis, reporting for Kids First. Today I'm in L.A. getting ready to interview Anna McRoberts, the producer and the writer of Popstar. Stay tuned, everybody. Hi, and I'm with Anna McRoberts, the producer and writer of Popstar, and the producer of Air Bud Entertainment. So what inspired you to create the story of Popstar and the characters? Well, we really wanted to make a movie about singing dogs because we'd done lots of stories about talking dogs, and now we wanted the dogs to sing. And we really, we really love, obviously we love stories about dogs, all stories about dogs. And we wanted to do a story about a little dog who knew how to follow her dream. And that's her. Hi, Tiny. Hi, Tiny. <laughs> and how long did it take to create Popstar, like from start to finish? You know, we wrote the script for a long time. We tried to, we really tried to get it to be really great. So we worked really hard on it for a long time. But by the time we started shooting to the time the movie was done, it was about a year. Wow. So what's your favorite scene in Popstar and why? My favorite scene in Popstar is at the very end. And I don't want to spoil the ending for everybody, so I won't say what happens. But it's a really great song, and it definitely makes me a little bit cry. And it's... It's a really magical moment where you really learn that dreams can come true. And is there a character you most identify with? And if you do, can you tell us why? I definitely, even though I'm really tall and Tiny's really tiny, I definitely identify most with Tiny because she is a, she is a, a little pup with a dream. And I was just once a little girl with a dream who wanted to make movies and I came to Hollywood and now I make movies. And in the end of the, in, in the, end of the movie of Pup Star, Tiny, follow, Tiny gets her dreams to come true also. Aww, that is really cool. And I have a question. And in Pup Star, did voiceover talent record separately or together? Yes, actually, that's a great question, Abigail. And voiceover talent, we usually record them separately, even though it would be really nice to have everybody in the same room interacting like they do on set or on stage. Um, but because of the way the, the recording sessions work, um, we usually record all of the voice talent alone. What is it about animals, particularly dogs you love? Because I know they're like mostly in your films, like of Air Bud Entertainment and all of them. Yeah, Ollie, Airbud, and the Air Buddies movies, um, and now Pup Star. So we definitely work with a lot of dogs, and we love dogs because we believe that animals, dogs, and, and cats too. We don't often have cats in our movies, but we do believe that dogs are really like show the heart of humans really well. You know, um, pets, pet, an, humans, and pets connect on a really true level on a meaningful level so we love the way children and pets connect and so we love making movies with animals because we believe that children who we make our movies for can really connect with the animals yes and i a lot of animals on your movies like how is it like working with animals well as you can see we've got tiny here today who's amazing that she came by to hang out with us even though she's the star of pup star um, she's, look how great she is. She just likes to hang out. She, she does everything we tell her. Good job, Tiny. So working with animals is great. And actually, when you work with animals, you also work with animal trainers. And we have some really, really amazing animal trainers that we work, get to work with. It's a real honor to watch. The, the work they do is very fantastic. And their patience and expertise really helps us make our movies great. What do you hope viewers will take away most from Pop Star? We hope that viewers will take away from Popstar the real knowledge that they can set their mind to anything and their dreams can come true. And also how important family is. Because the, the two themes of Popstar are that set your dreams high because dreams can come true. And also family is the most important thing of all. Uh, so what are you most happy in Popstar and part of making the movie Popstar? Um, what I think we're most proud about Pup Star is that we're telling a really nice story that has a lot of great messages for, for families. The messages of following your dreams and messages of never giving up and messages of that, that family is very important. And we're also proud that we made a movie with the most animals ever made in a movie. 31 dogs in this movie. And, we, and the director, Robert Vince, really worked really hard to make that all work. And... and we're really proud that we made the first singing dog movie. Out of all the Air Bun movies, do you have a favorite and why? I would have to say that my favorite Air Bud movie is Pup Star. 
because it's got some great songs and some great, and it's a great adventure and it's got some great heart. And what do you enjoy most about making movies? My favorite thing about making movies is working with all of the different talented people that you get to work with to make a movie. Making a movie is, is really involves a hundreds of people and everybody has their own important task. So being a producer is a really great job because you get to work with so many talented people and bring them all together and make all together make something really great that you put out into the world. If you could go back in time and give yourself advice, what would it be? You know what I would I would if I could go back in time and give myself advice, I would tell the younger me to to be even more fearless than I was, to make big big leaps that are scary and take risks and be don't be afraid to make mistakes because it's the mistakes that have really helped me become a better filmmaker and you know making mistakes really just help you grow so I would tell young me be fearless don't be afraid to make mistakes and follow your dreams that's really nice Anna what's your next project well um, our next project which is a very exciting announcement we are likely going to be making pup star second season so Pup Star is coming back, and we, we will have a very big, big surprise for Tiny. Oh, that's really cool. Well, thank you for letting me interview you. Thank you so much for interviewing me. You did such a great job. Thank you. Thank you, Abigail. I'm getting ready to meet Tiny, the star of Pup Star. Hi, Tiny. Okay. Hi. It's so cute. How are you doing today, Tiny? I'm doing really good. Well, that's cool. So, how was it like working on Popstar? <laughs> so, on Popstar, did you meet a lot of nice friends? <laughs> oh, so what are you planning on doing in the future? <laughs> so, when did you start acting? And do you have any advice for young dogs wanting to get into the acting business? <laughs> so tiny, how was the food on the set? So how was it like working with other dogs? <laughs> It was awesome meeting you, Tiny, and I look forward to seeing you in your next movie. But my blue sky turned to gray Haven't felt the sun since you ran away Since I lost my dog, my blue sky's turning gray It's a lonely world when your best friend's gone away Hi, this is Abigail Zoe Lewis, reporting for Kids First. Now, I had the most wonderful time meeting Tiny, the star of Pop Star. And I loved interviewing Anna McRoberts. I had the most wonderful time here. They gave me some wonderful sponsors, like this is Pop Star Evaluation Dog Treats. This is from Egg Lands Best. This is the other sponsor here from Cold Stone. Hope you had a great time watching. This is Abigail Zoe Lewis, reporting for Kids First. Bye!